Good morning, everybody. Today we are at Rockton Township Cemetery in Rockton, Illinois, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about a historic figure that's buried in this cemetery. Now, it's a pretty sad story uh, just because of the nature of what happened to him and the bright future that he had ahead of him. Now, this is a pretty fitting uh, decoration for our story today. And I will say that this is not the only Civil War soldier that is buried in this cemetery, but this is the one that we're going to focus on today because there is some pretty good historical significance in relation to him. Now, I'm going to start off by saying his name was Elon Farnsworth. For a little background, he was born July 30th, 1837 in Michigan. His uncle was John J. Farnsworth, and he served in the House of Representatives from Illinois for quite a few years, and he was also a Union Army colonel, so he, so Elon Farnsworth had a pretty big legacy to live up to. Now, he had kind of a hard time growing up. Elon was expelled from the University of Michigan after a drinking party where one of his classmates died after being thrown from a window. From there, he joined the Army as a civilian forage master in 1857. At the outbreak of the Civil War, Farnsworth was appointed a first lieutenant in the 8th Illinois Cavalry, and the regiment was commanded by his uncle. He was promoted to captain on December 25, 1861, and served through the Battle of Chancellorsville. Soon after, he was given command of the 1st Brigade, 3rd Division, Cavalry Corps, Army of the Potomac. He seemed to really excel in the Army, and he just kept on earning ranks. Um, you know, he kept getting promoted. And there was one other promotion that he got that I'll tell you about in just a second, but it's one of the sadder parts of the story. Now, this isn't his grave right here, but this is... I just want to show you some of the beautiful stones and monuments that are in this cemetery. This is just absolutely beautiful, and I had to show it to you. Just take a look at the stonework on this. That is pretty cool. But back to the story. Now on June 28, 1863, just days before the Battle of Gettysburg, Abraham Lincoln nominated Elon Farnsworth to Brigadier General, but the appointment was never confirmed by the U.S. Senate because on July 3rd, Brigadier General Hugh Judson Kilpatrick ordered Elon Farnsworth to make a charge against Confederate positions south of the Devil's Den below Little Round Top. Farnsworth balked at it and felt that there was no hope of success, but finally agreed when Kilpatrick called him a coward. Farnsworth made the charge, but was shot five times in the process, and he lost his life on the Gettysburg battlefield before he was able to accept his promotion from President Lincoln. He was brought back here to be laid to rest at the Rockton Township Cemetery in Rockton, Illinois. Now, it's beautiful how they have this set up because it says, it says right on here, fell at the Battle of Gettysburg July 3rd, 1863. He was only 25 years old. And the sad thing is, is that he was working his way up through the Army. He was very good at, um, at taking command. He, was, he had a bright future ahead of him. And he just passed away tragically in the Battle of Gettysburg, one of the most famous battles in American history. Now, this is a small Illinois cemetery. There is not really much association with the Civil War here, which is kind of why I was fascinated by the fact that he was here. But this is, um, I mean, it's a beautiful cemetery. There's a lot of other interesting people here, which I have done a video here before on the ghost baby legend. And I'm probably going to do another one coming up soon because there is another person here that was a victim of the Eastland disaster. But that's a story for another day. I hope you guys enjoyed today's little history lesson. Thank you so much for watching and have a great night, everybody.